Okay, hello, born in NH, live in NC, 30-ish, male, clear wire, 4G, WiMAX internet. I don't know your name, but given that you're asking Victor questions, I'm guessing you are a moron. So, thank goodness I am here with my how to use Windows language input methods for morons. Okay, so I saw this message on Victor's website after he mentioned it on his channel, and I thought I would make a quick video explaining how to set up and use Microsoft's input method options. I am using Windows 8, but this will work for any version of Windows. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make sure that you have the correct keyboard set up. It looks like you do, given that you have this down here. Um, that looks fine, but I'll go through this anyway in case there's someone watching that doesn't have that set up. So, first of all, we're going to open up Control Panel. And we are going to go to Change Input Methods under Clock, Language, and Region. As you can see here, I already have the Microsoft IME keyboard set up under my language preferences. If you do not have that, simply click Add a Language, find Japanese in the list, and click it. There may be a second keyboard that is not the Microsoft IME keyboard. What that will do is set up Japanese keyboard layout, but only for English letters. So don't choose that one. Make sure you get the one that is the Microsoft IME if you have two. So once you've chosen that and clicked the Add button, let's go back and get out of here because we no longer need it. Next step is to change our current input method from Japanese, or sorry, from English to Japanese. I'm going to open up Notepad and we can have a look at how that works. So, when you're in your preferred text editor, you can do this one of two ways. The first thing to do is look down in your system tray for an icon like this one that says ENG. If you cannot find that, have a look and see if you have the toolbar set up. I don't think that Windows 8 has the toolbar, but this is the toolbar that I'm talking about. It will have either EN English United States or your default language selected. We're going to click on that and choose Japanese Microsoft IME. And this is where my friend NC30ish Mail is having his issues. Because, as you can see here, next to input mode it has an A and that means it's going to try and type in alphanumeric characters, not hiragana or katakana. So we're going to go back to Notepad, which is where we want to type our Japanese. We're going to click on the A next to our Japanese input option, and we are going to keep clicking until it comes up with hiragana, which is this symbol here, which is A. If that doesn't work, if it stays on this A, you can right-click and choose Hiragana. That will allow you to type Hiragana characters and convert them to Kanji. So we will start with... Um, what do we start with? We can start with Nihon. As you can see here, we have the Hiragana for Ni, and the Hiragana for Ho, and an N. And that's because a single N does not convert to a katakana, or sorry, hiragana, or a katakana for that matter. To make an N hiragana, or katakana, you need to do two Ns. Now you can see that when I did that second N, it popped up with this list of kanji and other characters. The top one is Nihongo, which is a common... Um, extension of Nihon, which I've been using a lot lately, which is why it came up first. You will most likely have this one first, the kanji for Nihon, which is Japan. 
simply use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to move between them to select the one you want and press space sorry press space to go down and press enter to select and then you have your kanji now that's how to use the Microsoft IME method for inputting Japanese if you want to keep hiragana and not change it to kanji you can do that by simply typing in your desired hiragana here I'm just typing in hiragana and instead of pressing space to select the um, list below you can simply press enter and it will not convert it so we'll do that with Nihon if I can type press enter instead of space and there you go now for katakana it's a very similar process just down here you can't toggle directly to katakana unfortunately so you can right click on your little hiragana icon and choose either full width or half width katakana um, I'm not sure what the different widths are or what they do I can imagine that it's just a display option um, someone else that's more knowledgeable about that might be able to help so we will choose full width and we will type moron more raw mm. again we had to do two n's because it will not convert a single n and we press enter to lock it in and we are done so that's the way that you get the keyboard to type in Japanese you don't need to buy an another keyboard um, you don't need to spend any money actually you just need to click that button to change it from alphanumeric to hiragana or katakana depending on what you would like to type I hope that's been a help and I will see you hopefully sometime on my channel if you decide to watch me thanks